that's how you know it's real. Do you want somebody just switching it up on the daily? I can't do that. I'm not that girl. I'm sorry. Pick another channel. <laughs> Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back besties. Today we are talking about bridal fragrances. If I were to get married all over again today, 2023, these are 10 fragrances that I would highly consider and one that I would definitely wear. So if you want to know what they are, please continue to watch. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous dwellings. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into or that you'd want to become a part of, stop what you're doing. Let's have a little fun with this. If you are married, if you have already had that special day, drop down in the comment section for the brides to be and let us know what you wore on your wedding day. And if you could care less, just drop your sin of the day. It's all good. We are jumping into this video right now. You guys, oh my God, you know I love love. So I am so excited to be talking about love and fragrances that I would wear if I were to get married and fragrances that I would recommend to people that are getting married. Now there is one fragrance that is absolutely gorgeous. I have been playing with it. It is highly, highly, highly on my wish list. I am probably going to eventually end up picking it up. I do not own a full bottle. I have gone in store several times and played with this. Several of you have asked me about it. It's on your wish list. A few of you have already picked it up and it is Guidance by Amirage. This is such a beautiful, classy, elegant, sweet, beautiful, did I say beautiful? gorgeous fragrance and this would make for an amazing wedding day scent it is so timeless it is so elegant i put it on i wore it in store for about 45 minutes to an hour it had a beautiful longevity the sillage was there it project like i stated i do not own a full bottle but i have played with it in store i have got to get this that is like an honorable mention okay on to the video these are coming in in no particular order but there is one fragrance in this lineup that if I were to get married right now, hands down, all these other ones would fall by the wayside because this would be my fragrance of choice. Rose and Honey by Michael Malou London. It is their new release. This is a beautiful peach soft honey rose fragrance. It is absolutely gorgeous. I spoke about this in a few videos back. I wore it on vacation. I've been wearing it like crazy. It has a beautiful mister here. This is gorgeous, this is light, this is airy, this is fluffy. Depending on your wedding, time, date, location, everything like that is going to play a huge, you know, deal in what type of fragrance you would wear or what I would wear. And if I was getting married like somewhere in the afternoon, three, four o'clock, even kind of morning even, this is something I would reach for. It's not too loud, it's not too in your face, but it's definitely there and it has a presence. It's more like a water fresh scent. Think along the lines of, uh, what would you say? Like a D, D like Delina, La Rose. It's in, in that realm of a fragrance. It's very fresh, it's very clean, it's amber, it's musk, it's white caramel, it's peach, it's rose, it's honey, it's gorgeous. And I do have a 20% off discount code. So should you want to pick this up, I will definitely have it linked in the description box below. I move on. And if I was getting married right now, like real talk, for real, for real, like I would want me an evening wedding because after the evening wedding and we go for a nice little dunch dinner, we are going to turn up, okay? So I would definitely want something around my real wedding time. I got married at 5.30 in the afternoon or is it evening? Yeah, 5.30 in the evening and my colors were black and white. Oh my God, it was such a special day. Okay, anyways, anyways, back to the video, girl. I would recommend for the classy, sophisticated, timeless, elegant, type of bride, um, somebody that wanted something very memorable, especially if you wanted to take it a step further and really order like your fragrance or have it delivered to your home. You know, I'm talking about Dior because they have the best packaging. And I would recommend Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. It is a beautiful fragrance. Your bouquet would be there filled with flowers. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's timeless, it's classic, it's iconic even. It's just gonna give you that you know, bridal type of feel. You know, some fragrances you smell them and you're like, oh my God, this will be an amazing wedding day fragrance. That's what this gives you. A few of the notes inside of it, like I said, it's woody, it's rose, it's pear, it's sandalwood, it's vanilla. Oh my gosh, it's good. And one thing I can say about this fragrance, you guys, after playing with it, it's long lasting. 
This is gonna get on you, hold you tight, and never let you go. Like I stated, Dior has some of the best packaging, so you wanna check them out. If you were ever to grab this fragrance, I would definitely highly recommend picking it up on the website so that you can get your two free samples. If you spend over, I believe, $50, it's free shipping. They give you the box, they give you like this little pouch. Just watch my Dior unboxing video. This is where it's at. I move on. I haven't spoke about this fragrance in a while, but it still holds true in my heart. I still love it. I loved it ever since I picked it up. I picked it up at the store itself. And when I just sprayed it on to just get a whiff of it, I was like, okay, this is really good. And then they had these little ties, you know, so I sprayed it on the tie and I sprayed it on myself. Walked around, did some shopping. I came back. I was like, yeah, wrap that up. I gotta have it. And I am talking about Gucci Bloom. Gucci Bloom is a beautiful fragrance. It's a two rose fragrance. Yes, it is a rose fragrance, but it's not like an old rose fragrance. It's a white floral, it's long lasting, it's sexy, it projects. The bottle is simplistic, but it's still really nice to have. So if you wanted to get like bridal pictures, like I know if I were to get a bridal um, photo shoot right now, I would definitely be doing a photo shoot with the fragrance that I wore on my wedding day. It would be something that I would probably blow up like a glamour shot like they used to do back in the day and put it in like my filming room or beauty room or some type of little room in my house, just as a reminder, because you know how much we love fragrance and I would probably do like a photo shoot like this hold in the bottle this will look really cute in pictures if you went out and you did like an outdoor garden wedding or something like that you can have this over with you holding your bouquet girl have you just turned into a wedding planner <laughs> just a little bit just a little bit <laughs> but this is something i would definitely choose this is very extremely long lasting on me this is gucci bloom i move on now this right every fragrance is beautiful okay you guys this fragrance is really beautiful it is really really long lasting i talk about it a lot the bottle is gorgeous it is gorgeous and i have a 20 percent off discount code so look 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 there's a win right there this is andromeda by tensiana terenzi you cannot go wrong with andromeda for a wedding day fragrance it is absolutely gorgeous bergamot peach rose violet leaves grass it's a beautiful sexy but more than sexy, pretty girl fragrance, pretty woman fragrance. It's just something that, oh my gosh, it just, it makes me happy. It's long lasting. It is a beast. I spray this, I spray heavy, especially this would be really nice depending on what style of dress you are going to choose. If you are going to get something like off the shoulder, showing a little bit of clavicle and a little bit of decollete and some shoulder season, something like this glistening on the shoulders when you walk past and you move and you twirl and they got a whiff of you. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Now I do want to say this too. Um, like I said, I'll have this link in the description box, 20% off discount code. I want to say this too. If you are picking out a dress like that, I know mermaid style dresses were really in. I like the kind of dresses that come up. I don't know what this neckline is called, but when it comes up like this, I just like those kind of shirts, blouses, dresses, whatever, because I love shoulders. I love trap muscles. I love all those type of things. So I would say get yourself a little bit of shimmer, not too much, something like the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc kind of shimmer, the, um, who else has a good shimmer? Um, the Baccarat Rouge uh, shimmer. There's tons of them. I would go with more of an oil-based shimmer and not a powder shimmer, just so it doesn't start getting cakey or tacky or anything like that. Get yourself that big pom-pom brush that we spoke about. You can pick one up at the cosmetic company store. Look for the brush that says dusting or powder because it's big, it's fluffy, and it helps to distribute your oils, your body creams, your tanners, whatever, evenly. That's just a tip and it was free. I move on. Now this is a new fragrance to my collection and I would definitely wear this. I went in store. Uh, if you follow the vlogs or if you follow me on Instagram and if you're not following me on Instagram, like pause this video right here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. How are we talking about wedding day gifts? I'm giving you photo tip ideas or photo shoot tip ideas. And we're not following each other on Instagram. Like you're not, hello bestie. Pause the video, come over, say hi on Instagram. It goes down over there. We have real live conversations. It's very fun. I talk to people all the time. I'm like, oh my God, we do. Sometimes you guys, I get tired of typing, okay? And I'm always on the go. I'm not like sitting where I can type. And when I do that text to type sometime and I send the message, I'm like, what the heck did you just write? I drove off the road. That's what the thing said. And I didn't say that. I said, I'll call you back, I'm on the road. So sometimes I just pick up and I just start talking and the people are like, oh my God. So then they send it back and they're talking. We have in full conversations. That's how it goes down. That's what I do when I talk to the besties. Anyways, this one is new. I told you guys about it. This is Flores. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is by Ellis Brooklyn. It's a white floral. It's citrus. It's got pear. It's fruity. It's amber. You guys, this is gorgeous. And I'm not even spraying it on the paper. I have none to waste. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Beautiful outdoorsy wedding. 
uh, midday, evening, it can definitely fit the bill. It's sexy, it's classy, it's pretty, it's fun, it's upbeat, it's kind of flirty a little bit, like I'm a flirt, you know what I mean? Because you definitely, even after you get married, you want to flirt. After you get married, a few things that you don't want to let die by the wayside is like the fire, the romance, the getting it put together. I try and slay and get beat every weekend because I need him to know, excuse you, hello, I have it. I had it and I'm holding on to it. And it takes some work. Trust me, it takes some work. It's like, don't get married and let it go and let it fall by the wayside. But if you see me Monday through Thursday, mind your business, okay? My, don't, don't pick me. Pick somebody else Monday through Thursday. But Friday up until, let's say about 4.30, 5 o'clock, I start pulling it together for the whole weekend. Because Monday through Thursday or Friday up until about 5.30, I'm grinding. I am working. I am grinding. I'm doing laundry. I'm folding clothes. I'm at the Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. I'm at Sephora. I'm running errands. I'm going to the cleaners. I'm going to the market. I am I'm going to the gym. I'm doing all the things that need to be done. I do what I have to do. So that when the weekend comes, she can glam up and I can do what I want to do. You see, but my house is in order. Things have been taken care of. And then I'm out getting my best life. So Monday up until about 5 through Friday, up until about 5.30, we bringing it together. But come the weekend, oh, she's about to shine. That's just what it is. It's what I do. But I would definitely recommend this fragrance. It is a beautiful fragrance. It's long lasting. It projects. Now, this isn't huge, huge projection like Andromeda. It's not going to give you the same type of longevity nor the same type of wear. This is a beast. This is definitely going to give you more of a moderate vibe. I move on. And even if it gives you a moderate vibe and you love it that much, take it with you and just decant it. Like find one of your friends and just be like, carry my perfume. I might have you meet me like in the parlor room so that I can freshen up a little bit. What are friends for? Hello, we spoke about true friends. I move on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This fragrance makes me so happy, you guys. This fragrance is beautiful. Definitely, if you were getting married mid-morning, like a 10.30 wedding, an 11.30 wedding, a 12 p.m. wedding, like early afternoon, this fragrance is absolutely gorgeous. With this fragrance, I would definitely say, no matter what fragrance you're getting, I would say check to see if it has a body cream or a body oil that goes with it. I prefer the body cream. And as you get out of the shower, while the body is still supple or still damp, depending if it has a body cream or a body oil or both, put the oil on first, then put the lotion, and then add the fragrance. With this particular fragrance, I would highly recommend getting the body cream. And that is Paris Paris. This is absolutely a gorgeous fragrance. I have a full dedicated review to this fragrance on my channel and I rarely ever do that. But this fragrance is so gorgeous and so beautiful. And if you could see my whole demeanor changed because we're talking about Chanel Dwelly. It warrants that type of behavior for me. Classy, elegant, sophisticated, playful, youthful, very romantic. More than any of the words that I just said, this fragrance screams romance to me. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna go a step further. It's breathtaking. It's breathtaking. It's crumpets, it's scones, it's tea, it's Paris. If you want that romantic type of wedding, that romantic type of wedding day scent, I would highly recommend this. If I were getting married, this would have been number two after the number one. This is beautiful. I'm not spraying it on the paper. Oh my gosh. Oh my, it's so gorgeous, you guys. It's so, so gorgeous. It's rose, it's citrus, it's pink pepper, it's patchouli, it's long lasting, it's sparkling, it's elegant, it's romantic. Did I mention? It's Chanel Dwelly. I move on. I love it, you guys, I love this fragrance. Sometimes the fragrances just take me somewhere and that one right there just took me. I left the building, I'm back, okay. I move back. Another fragrance that would be absolutely gorgeous. It came out. When it came out, it was all the rage. Tons of people talked about it. Now, there's mixed opinions about that, about this fragrance. Let's be honest. Some have compared it to Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. Some have said that it's just the hype. I feel it's a really beautiful fragrance, but I will say this, it is pricey. So I would always recommend with any of these fragrances that you start with the sample, but you already know girlfriend, guy friend. It's your money, you do you. I'm just here to be a friend, to assist and to help. But if you feel like, girl, that sounds like my vibe, buy it. Anyways, you guys, that fragrance would be by Creed. And this is Windflowers. This is a beautiful white floral fragrance, tube rose, musk, orange blossom, sandalwood. It is classy, it is elegant. 
on me and I can only speak for me. I get a good longevity from this. I get a good eight hours or so. Mind you, I do spray extremely heavy and I have like a body cream that I'll sometime put on with this and it helps to ensure with longevity, helping it to last a little bit longer. It is just the, um, the uh the same one that i use for my peri peri it's kind of like in the same floral family so i just put that lotion on with it and spray this on top of it and i'm good to go i have no problem with longevity uh when it comes to siage and projection that just depends on how much i've sprayed where i sprayed it at i do find that spraying it on my clothes i get a longer scent bubble or scent trail than when i just spray it on my bare skin so that can play a factor as well another tip coming in um, but this would be a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I move on. Let me give another tip. I don't know how many tips we're on right now, so I can't name them. When it comes to your wedding day fragrance, I would recommend trying the fragrance out for a week or so, seeing how it wears with you, what's the longevity giving for you, uh, what is the vibe giving for you, and how does it make you feel? Because these are my recommendations, but when you're picking a fragrance, it should be something special because it's such a special day. So you wanna get something that really makes you feel some type of way. These are just 10. However, you guys, there are tons and tons of more fragrances that I would recommend. So should nothing on this list really spark your interest or grab you like that? I don't mind if you DM me, don't do it here because it'll get lost in the sauce. But if you DM me on Instagram and you tell me your likings, I don't mind putting a list of 10 personal together, like a personal, personalized, personalization, girl, what you trying to say? A personal list just for you. Yes, I'm that friend, I told you. Hello, we besties. Okay, I move on. Now, another fragrance I would recommend, and this is absolutely gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's sexy. This fragrance can be can just fit the bill year round. It could be a wedding day scent, a graduation scent, a date night scent, a one and done, a year round scent in my opinion. It's gorgeous and it's gonna come at no surprise to you. It is another Chanel fragrance. It is from the Chance line. This is rose citrus. It's got some jasmine, white musk. It is a really, really beautiful fragrance. And as I always say, you guys, this fragrance is sexy. It is. Oh my God, I shouldn't even spray it. I don't know why I'm spraying everything. I already know what this smells like though and it gives me the same reaction every time. If you're looking for something that's really nice and you, uh, you want to add a touch of Chanel to your collection, Chanel number no. five, we know, we already know, is, 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 is given a lot. Coco Mademoiselle, I always hear, we have that, we, you know, so many people carry it or so many people have it, you know, it's so popular. This is one that I don't care. Well, you know, I don't care about who rocks what. Ain't nobody gonna rock it like me. I am me. There's only one me. There's only one you. Don't be ashamed to rock what you rock. Put your spin on it and they will forever know you as that girl. Anyways, I would rock this and put my own spin on it. Nobody's gonna rock it like me. This right here is a 10 out of a 10 and I would highly recommend. I move on. Let me just give this fragrance some grace, okay? Because I don't want her to feel bad, you guys. I don't want her to feel bad. Right now, these two fragrances in my collection, they're competing for my attention. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Everybody is a pick me girl, but there's one girl that has stole my heart. And I know y'all tired of hearing about her. I know you are, but friends listen to friends. Even when they tell you the same story over and over again, that's how you know it's real. Do you want somebody just switching it up on the daily? I can't do that. I'm not that girl. I'm sorry, pick another channel. I am gonna tell you what I really love when I'm really rocking. And if I were to get married tomorrow, this is a fragrance I would choose. Now, I'm not saying I wouldn't mix it with something else. I don't know, I don't know, it depends on how I felt. But this is a fragrance I would reach for. Are you ready? Can I get a drum roll, please? Oh my God, you guys, yes, it's Palaya. Stop, stop, get your shoes off of here. Stop throwing stuff at me. You guys, it is Valaya. Okay, it, oh my gosh, oh my God. yeah. Whoa, 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 who used to watch Martin back in the day, remember? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is it. This will do it for me and it gets me every single time. I kid you not. And you don't understand, I've had to tell myself, stop spraying it. I've had to tell myself, stop spraying it and pick somebody else. This is absolutely hands down what I would choose. I don't see no competition when it comes to 
Valaya and another fragrance on my wedding day. It just wouldn't be. It would not be, this is what I would be choosing. Like I stated, I don't know if I would choose something else. I would probably choose Coco Mademoiselle and mix the two of these together because I told you that is the best combo that I have come up with and layered. Year to date, 2023, that's what I said and I'm sticking to it. Valaya is a white peach, citrus orange blossom. It is vanilla and musk. It is elegant, it is rich, it is opulent, it is sophistication, it is class. It is everything that I embody in a fragrance and I absolutely love it. And if I were to get married tomorrow, hands down, this is my number one pick, and this is my number one recommendation. Valaya is absolutely gorgeous. Now, those of you that have tried Valaya and you love it, go ahead and drop your experience down in the comment section below. Let's help some brides to be out or some brides out and let them know what we feel about this fragrance. If you tried it and it wasn't your just, that's okay as well. Everything is not for everybody. My grandmother said, the, what's she say? What's ever good for the goose is not gonna always be good for the gander. I don't know, she always had these sayings, you guys. I try to remember them. She's not here anymore, but I always take those little gems that she would give me, and I have found that to be true. Everything is not for everybody, but this is definitely the cup of tea and the cup of coffee for me. It is Valaya. Now, I have to give some shine to Delina because Delina is just that girl, will forever be that girl. If you like the sour, rhubarb, lychee, feminine, girly, dainty, pretty girl, pretty woman-esque, effervescent, fizzy, sparkling, pizzazz type of fragrance, then I would say choose Delina. Or you can do like I would probably do, I don't know, I've never mixed these two together, I don't think, and try mixing these together or try wearing this on its own. But some people are just not fans of Delina because of the rhubarb note. So I would definitely suggest Valaya, but in my honest hearts of hearts and opinion, you can't go wrong with either one. When it comes to longevity, they're gonna be unreal. On me, this is my personal experience. Delina, you just can't come in taking over. I'm sorry, it's not your moment. You've had your moment and this is not it right now. <laughs> right now. It is Valaya. It is Valaya, you guys. I move on. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel. I truly appreciate you. I will see you beautiful besties in the next one. Until next time, guys, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, dwellings. Thanks for watching. Bye.